Mike Parham, uh, you might know me from the Sidekick Gym. That's probably the, what I'm best known for in the Ruby community. Uh, uh, but I'm here, here to, just unfortunately, talk about, about a, a sad, sad subject, subject, which, which is we lost Ezra this last week. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are beginners, you might not know Ezra, but he was a huge uh, force of nature in the Ruby community back in 2006-2010 era. Um, there are some people that are just one name people in the Ruby community, DHH, Mats. Uh, back then, Zed Shaw was the author of Mongrel and Ezra. If you, you couldn't pronounce his last name, but his, you only needed to say his first name, and you, you knew who you were talking about. Uh, but he, probably more than anybody else, influenced all the different technologies that we use every day today. Uh, he founded Engine Yard along with a couple folks. And uh, through that, he saw hundreds, if not thousands, of Rails deployments over several years. And so he saw all these pain points that customers were having. And so he influenced and built all these different solutions that solved those problems and introduced them to the community so that we could also use them to solve our own problems. Uh, he wrote the book on deploying Rails applications, as you can see. Uh, he wrote MERB. He was the, the uh, an original author of MERB. Uh, it was written to solve a, a performance problem that the, an EY customer had, and it was uh, because Rails was not, Rails didn't scale back then. So uh, he wrote MERB. And MERB eventually merged back into uh, Rails as part of the 3.0 release. He was one, as far as I know, the first real big uh, evangelizer of Nginx. Before Ezra, we all deployed with Apache um, it, for the single threaded process. It was slow, it was inefficient. Um, he, he wanted Nginx to, to solve some of those problems. And his uh, blog post at, at his website was like the one and only source for how to configure Nginx for years. I think he was also one of the first big users of Chef. Engine Yard is based heavily on Chef. And he co-wrote Chef Solo. So if you've used Chef before, you owe a lot to him. He also promoted Redis. He was the first person to give a talk on Redis back in 2009. And he created the actual Redis client gym that uh, we use, that you would use in your Rails applications to talk to the Redis server. Uh, since 2010, he's done a bunch of different things. He worked at Cloud Foundry. He started a 3D printing startup. He uh, recently co-founded a, a new startup called Stuffster. Uh, he was married with one kid, so unfortunately, he leaves behind a family. Um, but from everything I've read in the last week, he was an amazing fellow who always had time to help you with open source projects. Uh, Hacker News was rife with tales of, oh, I, hey, I talked to Ezra, and then he spent the next three hours hacking with me on something. I think that's an amazing ethos and spirit to take away from this talk, is that he was uh, one of the good open source guys, and hopefully everyone in this room tries to be a good open source contributor and uh, uh, follow that spirit. They've uh, started a memorial fund for his wife and kid. You can uh, go to it there if you uh, if you want to throw a couple bucks their way. But anyways, that's all I have. Thank you.